Today, I'm on Wallapai Mountain Road to check out something new. I mean real new, like just opened up new. Today, I'm checking out Red Cellar and Bistro. Let's go. So this place was opened up 2021 by Logan and Jacob Marsh. The mission to bring a cool wine bistro. They do have a killer charcuterie board that is just picture perfect. I'm kind of eating on my own today, so the ability to order a, a big old tray of freshly cut meat and cheese is maybe a little too much for me today, but they still got a killer menu. Let's check it out. So with it being their mission, to serve you up just all kinds of wine options. It don't matter if you're looking for white, Chardonnay, Zinfandel, red blends, it don't matter. They got you covered. But what I'm here for is to check out some of the grub. Now here's that charcuterie board that I was talking about, 1895. Some other good appetizers, I'm bruschetta, I like bruschetta, ooh, I like some brie. Some signature salads, got a Caesar, a red. Some pastas where they got some ravioli, manicotti. Over here, they got some, some classics, the Caprese, the margarita. They got their takes on a couple other cool favorites. Avian pesto, chicken alfredo pesto. Then they got a lasagna delight. And then they got a couple of their own unique creations here. The capra fig and the blue daze, which looks like it comes with fig jam, some different cheeses, some fruits and nuts and stuff. And then down here in the sandwich section, I was told that the, the red Reuben is a is a fan favorite but your man right here the big kid is looking at this grilled cheese sourdough sharp white cheddar monster add red signature tomato basil soup honestly my mind is either going between this lasagna delight and the grilled cheese hmm lasagna pizza fancy grilled cheese fancy tomato soup I think I'm gonna have to ask Google to flip a coin for me. All right, I could live with that. By the time this video's over, your man's gonna consume something from a martini glass. Definitely digging the decor. I like all the, like the bootlegger imagery, the whole prohibition period, all that chunk of American history kind of represented in the uh, speakeasy of sense. And I definitely get that vibe here. And I kind of dig it. Are curious where the coin landed? Did we go lasagna pizza? Or did we go grilled cheese with basil soup? The answer's right here. It landed on the grilled cheese tomato soup. And to be honest, I'm actually pretty happy about the outcome, so that worked out. Basil soup smells good. Nice and crispy toast. All pretty and garnished with a little flour, little basil poking out the soup. <laughs> Look at all that sharp white cheddar, monster cheese coming out that sourdough bread. I'm gonna try a bite like this and then we'll go, we'll go dunking in a second. That's a good cheese. You would expect that they'd have some really good cheese because they've got that charcuterie board that's just full of the meats and cheeses. That white cheddar and that monster really do play off each other very well. I'm loving it. Cause now, you know I love this stuff. Mmm. Not only is there a basil leaf poking out of this bad boy, but that's the first thing you get. You get like that, that acidity of the tomato, but then that basil, that aroma of the basil just fills up the bite. That's a good treat. I teased at the beginning of the episode that while I was here during this episode, I would be consuming something off the menu in a martini glass. And I'm a man of my word. So without further ado, let's check out the tiramisu. The tiramisu covered in chocolate and caramel with a dusting of cocoa powder. You look so good. Where'd my spoon go? It's right here. Look at all of that creamy, fluffy goodness. It's me and you, Teramasu. Wow. 
That is gangster. So super creamy. The little lady finger cake goodness inside there is ripe. You get a little bit of that like that that espresso kind of coffee flavor. The dusting, the caramel, the chocolate drizzles. This is a perfect exclamation point to one heck of a good meal. Is no mercy on this one. That was delicious. For me to order up something as simple as a grilled cheese sandwich and to walk out impressed, really did take this big kid back to those lazy days as a kid. Mom pops open a can of Campbell's. You take some Wonder Bread and some Kraft cheese and grill it up and you get to dip in only on a whole new level. And to finish that up with, <laughs> I know I teased you I was gonna have something out of a martini glass, but to have that tiramisu, so I guess I didn't lie, so creamy, all the flavors I wanted. I just got done eating one. I'm already thinking about eating another one. <laughs> it's so silly. Anyway, Wallapai Mountain Road, like you're heading up towards the mountains. On your left, big red building, can't miss it. Welcome to the Kingman Landscape family. I hope nothing but the best for you and yours. If any of this interests you, I say check it out. Until next time, family, it's your man Big Mike Certified saying, I hope this finds you smiling, because that's the mission. Yeah. Peace. We out. Kind of weird, I'm walking out. I got no leftovers. Look how close we are to the wallapies. You literally head out that way, and you're in the mountains. <laughs>